my name is Rogine. Today I will talk about democratic confederalism, or in other words, stateless democracy. I will try to explain briefly what it is, how and where it can work in our society, and why it is so important for our Kurds, like me. Democratic confederalism, according to our Kurdish leader Abdullah Jalan, is a libertarian political system that is open toward other political groups and factions. It is flexible, multicultural, anti-monopolistic, and consensus-oriented. Ecology and feminism are also central pillars of this political system. In the traditional national state system, the power, rules, and regulations come from the top to the local levels and communities. In other words, someone from the central government in the capital city decides how the entire communities have to live without even having any contact with them. Reality shows that it leads often to oppression, economic exploitation, nationalism, and persecution of different minorities. We Kurds have been victims of national state for decades, and now we say enough to this. We do not need any national state. We believe that is a wrong concept, especially in the Middle East, where the borders were artificially drawn by foreign superpowers. Abdullah Jalan proposes something else. He believes that in a real democracy, all the decisions should be taken in local villages and communities through self-administration. Democratic confederalism guarantees tolerance for all religions and all cultural diversities. People can find solutions through dialogue and consensus that work directly for them. Democratic confederalism does not recognize the political borders that were drawn by regimes and imposed upon the land and its people. Instead, it accepts all people religions, communities, and beliefs. The nation-state embraces only one nation and one culture, while the system of democratic confederalism embraces an ecology of diversity. We Kurds, who follow our leader, deeply believe that this is the right solution for Kurdish people as well as other people in the Middle East and around the world. Somebody can call it utopia, but it was implemented and it worked. Currently, we are witnesses to this spectacular revolution that has liberated millions and has saved lives to tens of thousands of people. The place where stateless democracy works is called Rojava. At the start of Syrian civil war in 2011, Kurdish revolutionaries reclaimed the northern part of Syria, known as Rojava, which means West in Kurdish and refers to the western part of Kurdistan. In 2012, the, the people of the region declared their democratic self-administration of Rojava and democratic confederalism as a social and political system. The Rojava revolution is widely known for its effective resistance against the brutal violence of the Islamic State, the Women's Protection Units, or YPJ, and People's Protection Units, or YPG, the self-organized people's ar armies of Rojava have proved most successful in liberating lands that were under the control by Islamic State and secure the rights and protection of people from all ethnical and religious minorities. Rojava is the first place where the stateless democracy works in practice. It was done not only through military success, but also through changing of mentality. The Rojava system of community government is focused on direct democracy, where the local communities takes the responsibility versus the strong central governments favored by many states. In this model, states become less relevant and people govern through councils. The decision-making process is very inclusive and people from a range of different backgrounds become involved, including Kurds, Arabs, Assyrians, Syrian Turkmen and Yazidis, 
from Muslim, Christian, and Yazidi religious groups. It is sought to establish a variety of groups, communities, and communes on the street, in the neighborhoods, villages, counties, and small and big towns everywhere. The revolution brought about new academies, the movement of culture and art, established cultural centers in all Rojava's villages and cities. There are organized music events, theater, film screening, and cultural education for children and young adults. I encourage everyone to read more about democratic confederalism and revolution in Rojava. We Kurds from Iranian Kurdistan, Rojalat, also want democratic confederalism in our land. We have been victims of Iranian state for decades. Iran is consists of many religious and ethnic minorities that are all oppressed by the current authorities. Our political party, Free Life Party of Kurdistan, wants to bring freedom to Iranian Kurdistan as it was in Rojava. We want democratization of Eastern Kurdistan that follows the ideology of democratic confederalism and reject the nation state. We will support all people of all ethnicities and religions, aiming to gain their rights and freedom. We are focused on the liberation of women as a fundamental pillar of the society. By all means, we desire also to liberate our leader, author of our ideology, Abdullah Ocalan. If Iran accepts our demands and implement change, we can have normal relations with the state. If Iran fails to accept these desires of the people, we will implement it, the ideology by ourselves. We Kurds will never give up fighting for our rights. For us, resistance is life. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.